Good afternoon everyone or the greetings of the day. In this video we are going to talk about the vul uh, species vulnerability and important species which were in news since last year and uh, so we are linking this uh, uh, environment topic that is species vulnerability with current affairs. So if you talk about vulnerability, vulnerability is decided by various agencies. Uh, there are four prominent agencies that determine vulnerability of the species from the PSC point of view. The first species is CITES, that is Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, which has two appendix, Appendix 1 and Appendix 2, providing protection to endangered species. Then there is IUCN, uh, that is International Union for Conservation of uh, Nature and Natural Resources. It has rated a book very important from examination point of view. Next is the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, that has six schedules related to protection. The first four deal with protected animal species. The fifth, one, the fifth one consists of vermin animals that can be killed. And the sixth one consists of prohibited plant species. All right. And the fourth important agency is BirdLife International that talks about the uh, conservation of endangered species uh, which belong to the avian species, subspecies or the bird species. If you talk about the red data book, the red beta data book consists of nine categories of uh, vulnerabilities, extinct, extinct in the wild, critically endangered, endangered, vulnerable, near threatened, least concerned, data deficient and not evaluated. All right, now these endangered species, they are located in three colored pages of the red data book. The first color is that of pink, the second is green, and the third is red. Pink is generally having the species which are critically endangered, red have that species which are facing some kind of threat, for example, vulnerable endangered egg, near threatened. The green consists of species which faced threat earlier, but now they are not endangered any longer. All right, uh, going ahead. Now let us look into some of the species which were in news since last year. The first species we are going to discuss is gore. Gore is nothing but it is an Indian bison. It is found in the countries like in, uh, in uh, South Asia and Southeast Asian countries. All right. Now uh, they are lo the local names of gore are Celadong in Malaysia. It is known by the name Pyong in Myanmar and it is known by the name Mithun. Uh, it is a local name and it is a local name of domesticated bison. All right. Now further, uh, gore is a state animal of the state of Goa. All right, if you talk about the IUCN status of gore, it is vulnerable. All right, we use stands for vulnerable. According to sites, it is located in the appendix one of the sites. All right, it was in news because gore has returned back to the earlier uh, habitat that is Valmiki Reserve in the state of Bihar. All right, and if you talk about the Valmiki Reserve, Valmiki Reserve uh, is uh, a national park, a tiger reserve as well as a wildlife sanctuary. It is located on India-Nepal border in the western Champaran district of Bihar. All right, and because of its geographical location, it is an excellent example of Himalayan Terai region. All right, or landscape. The next species we are going to talk is red panda. The red panda, as you can see on your screen, it is found in the countries like India, China, Nepal, Bhutan, and Myanmar. China is the largest, has the largest population of red panda. India has the second largest population of red panda. And in India, it is found in the, uh, in the states of Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Sikkim, and West Bengal. That is, it is located in East India and Northeast India. All right. Uh, if you talk about uh, the IUCN status of red panda, IUCN status is of that of endangered, all right, it is facing some grave danger. It is protected under Schedule 1, that is the highest level protection under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Red panda uh, is an altitude dwelling species, that is, it, that is, it is found in the height of 2200 meter to 4800 meter above mean sea level, all right. Then if you further talk about the favorite vegetation of red panda because of the height is mixed deciduous or you can say the coniferous forests. All right. Now, let, uh, if you talk why it was in news, because uh, it has been reported that there are fewer hunters left for red panda and therefore there are better chances of survival of red panda and greater protection of red panda is not that much required now. Now, next species we are going to talk about is red crowned roof turtle. This red crowned roof turtle is also known by the name that is Bengal roof turtle. All right. Turtle is different from tortoise because uh, uh, turtle it is it live in water, whereas tortoise is land based animal. All right. It is very important to note here. This Bengal roof turtle it is a freshwater species of turtle. All right. And uh, it is endemic to South Asia. Earlier it was endemic only to India, but now it is in South Asia and it is found in the rivers of India, Nepal, and 
Bangladesh. All right, if you talk about the IUCN status, it is critically endangered, very important from examination point of view. If you talk about protection under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, it is protected in Schedule 1, that is the highest level protection, and insights it is uh, provided under the Appendix 2. All right, remaining species will be covered in the upcoming parts of uh, these videos, which will be numerous in number. That's all from my side. Have a great day ahead. Take care. Keep tuned to the platform. Be safe, stay blessed, and take care.